Hello. So we're back, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Check here. Asus VivoBook uh, Ryzen 5 and uh, Radeon Graphics. Huh? What do you think about this? Proper nice laptop. So what the customer is saying, the customer is a computer shop. Not charging, not booting up. Check the voltage is present on the socket, power, and attempt to trace the voltage with a multimeter on the visible side of the motherboard. Predictably, predictably, nothing gets as far as the battery and all the inductors seem shorted. All the inductors seem shorted, but the inductor it is shorted. I mean, if you check with the multimeter, an inductor it is shorted. You know what, on the last video, remember the video with the uh, with Ice and Nitro, people said in the comments, they probably they check the inductors, they fought their capacitors, and uh, you know, being sure they remove the inductors. No, an inductor is normal to have like zero ohms, yeah, so that's fine. Okay, good, good. So the laptop came like this. I don't know, it's a bag coming out from the laptop. I haven't opened the laptop, so I don't know nothing. Let's open the laptop and have a look inside. Why is that bag there? Screws or? Yeah, let's see. So the laptop is open. Yeah, indeed, here are screws. This is a nice motherboard when it's good. You remember we had one like this. Let me unplug the, but this looks like brand new. So check here, a proper nice. We had one like this and was like some shorted CPU. Yeah, so we disconnect the battery. Let's see what the customer is saying. Uh, everything is shorted, yeah? I'm getting so annoyed. So check here, check here, check my wire, my multimeter wire. It's always is getting like, you know. Okay, so we have ground, main power rail, main power rail, yeah, power supply, yeah, coil, MOSFET, capacitor. So main power rail, main power rail is not shorted. Lol. No, main power rail is shorted, sorry. Yeah, my ground was not, uh, yeah, zero ohms, and on the other side, zero ohms. So the main power, it is shorted, and that's bad, that's proper bad, I mean, I just start the video and I feel like uh, I have to end it. So let's lower the voltage on the power supply, like 0 0.8, yeah, that should be fine. Let's lower the current, yeah, low current. Let me grab the thermal camera. So basically the main power rail, it is shorted. So you can check the main power, you can see, yeah? So check here, check here, check here, yeah? Together, we are doing together this. Coil, MOSFET, capacitor, shorted, yeah? I, we checked here already. Coil, MOSFET, capacitor, shorted. MOSFET, uh, coil, MOSFETs, yeah? Capacitor, zero, shorted, yeah? Same here, coil, MOSFETs, capacitor, shorted. Coil, MOSFETs, capacitor, shorted. Because plus line is going from one power supply to the other. See, it's like, you know, it's like a big truck. Coil, IC, capacitor. Zero ohms, shorted. So you see, this is a big plus power rail. Check here, yeah? Charging port, first MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor, shorted. Hmm? So hopefully everything is uh, clear now. Let's come with the power supply. I'll come after the current sensor, and it's taking 800 milliamps, because that's the limit. Where is the current? Ooh. The voltage is rising on when we're rising the current. What is that? Huh? Precisely, what is that? Wait. Wait, what, what is that? Where is it? Here?
I'm getting confused. It's a capacitor. I can't believe it. Well, you know what capacitor it is? It's this one. This one, the black one. It's an electrolytic capacitor. Let's remove the capacitor. Dodgy capacitor, yeah? No capacitor, no short capacitor, right? Let's remove that capacitor quickly. So this capacitor is gone, this one. But this is a good sign, I mean, this laptop, probably, it will work, yeah? Yeah, no capacitor. You see, we took one out, and we still have one here, so it's fine. Now let's check the main power rail for short. So checking for short, no short, huh? no capacitor, no short. Huh? So let me grab a plug and let's test it. Let's see. No, not this one. Uh, no. Not sure if it's this one. Yeah, this one. This one. One second, one second, because we need 19 volts. 19 volts. Plug in the charger. Ah, the laptop start, you can see. So the laptop, it's on. Probably it's restarting because of, uh, of the BIOS. Let's wait. Let's wait. Amps. We have picture <laughs> capacitor, and it's working fine. But probably I don't have enough current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see the current. We have like yeah, five amps. Five amps. Let's plug the battery. I mean, you know, so many laptops we just, you know, short the capacitor. Okay, let's wait. We reset the bus because the battery was not plugged. We have to wait a little bit. We have the charging light here. So it is charging. I can see that over 3 amps. Hopefully the laptop it will not take more than uh, five. Loading the windows. Windows, yeah. Everything seems to be fine. You know what, I believe the battery is fully charged. Now my charger is dodgy or it's not fully charged but nearly fully charged. Plug in the charger. All good, so everything is fine. So I'm gonna stop now. I'm really sorry. I was I was hoping you know like a more challenging challenging uh, repair. But yeah, the customer it will get a fully working laptop without a capacitor. Hmm? That should be, you know, should be my signature, my signature. So you open a laptop, oh, it's missing capacitor. That must be sorry. Yeah. Okay. So uh, see you on the next one. Bye.